Hello everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Today is Saturday and I'm currently waiting for my friend Irina to come on past. She is uh, meeting me here at home and then we're heading out for lunch to Almost Orange and I'm hoping that the citrus is still in the orchard so we can go and capture a few little pictures in the orchards and just have ourselves a nice afternoon. It's been a while since we've had a little a decent catch up. We talk all the time, but um, things have just been a little crazy lately. And um, so it's going to be nice to spend some quality time together. So as soon as she gets here, we are going to head out. Today the weather is doing weird and wonderful things. But in any event, I'm wearing this uh, TDW... Um, I don't know what length dress this is, like a midi maxi, I'm not sure. You can see the little bump <laughs> is there. And um, I'm also wearing my headband that I've showed you a couple times now. I just can't get enough of it. I don't seem to leave the house without it. So that's my little orchard outfit. I'm also wearing my espadrilles that I showed you in one of my most recent vlogs. So yeah. Ready to go as soon as she arrives. Good morning everyone. It is really bright and early. We still have a little sunrise going on. But it is somebody's birthday. And we are already heading out to celebrate. Um, we've got a, a lovely carrot cake to collect. And we thought we'd go and have breakfast. To start off the day um, at Bobocello, so that's where we're headed right now. So we are back from breakfast and it was really lovely and we've set up here at home um, and got ready for everybody to pop in and come and visit for the birthday but I need to crack on with my hair and makeup before anybody gets here so I think I'm going to curl my hair for the day because um, it's currently just freshly washed and straight. Um, and then I'm going to pop back in and do a little bit of makeup with you. Right, so the curls are done. If you are curious, I used this a trusty old fabulous that I have had since I think my 20th birthday. Um, so it's been very well used over the years and I absolutely love it. And then just to give myself some volume so that my hair doesn't fall flat, I've used a Velcro roller on top here, so if I'm looking a bit like a parrot right now, that is why, um, but for good reason. And I will show you once uh, my hair has cooled down a bit and then I can just distress the curls a little bit as well. But it's time now to do foundation because I've tanned. I don't know if you're able to see in this light, but my face is definitely lighter than my body. So I'm going to be using a darker shade of foundation today and today I'm going to be using the Clarence Everlasting Long Wearing and Hydrating Matte Foundation. So there we are, got a few pumps of that. I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender. So I'm quite happy with that. Today I think I'm going to set this foundation. Just because it's not my usual foundation and um, usually I don't set it. But because I don't use the clones all the time and we're going to be outdoors and it is very warm today. I think I'm going to set it. And I'm also going to set it because I've got a new product for you that you haven't seen on this channel before. I've got the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer which I picked up at this chem because... Um, I'd seen an advert for it and I was heavily influenced. I took the palest of the pale because generally that's who I am. So today that might not be 
true to fact but anyway let's give it a whirl okay i'm quite happy with that concealer i don't know what you guys think but i'm really quite impressed and it's very light on the skin which i think a lot of people prefer so for my setting powder i have my dior this is the forever forever compact in 010 it is literally the best setting powder of all time and i probably don't wear it as often as i should because i just love it so much and i feel like it's very dear <laughs> Um, which is nonsense because if you've got something that you love you should just use it so I'm using my sin palette from Urban Decay I think I might also do um, Urban Decay eyes I've grabbed the what is this called the born to be born to run I almost said born to be wild palettes born to run palettes um, purely because I haven't used it in a while and it probably deserves some way so anyway, let me just bronze up the face quick, quick. Let's see how quickly we can get on with this. I'm gonna do blush while I'm at it. I'm going in with Kiss Off, which is a pink pink. It's the pink I wore on my wedding day. It's beautiful. And I think I'm going like proper pink today. My shoes are pink, my dress is pink. We're going for the pink, so yeah. I love a pink blush, I love a pink lipstick, a lip gloss, I've already picked out my lip gloss for today, I think I've picked out my lipstick as well, so I've got Bratz by Urban Decay, gosh a lot of Urban Decay today, um, and then I have also got, so Bratz is my lipstick, then I have also got my Lancome 317, uh Lapsalu lip gloss which is also a pink pink which is fun i feel like it's really fun so i'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter i don't do as much as was all the rage a few years ago i don't know if anybody does really but anyway let's just highlight those cheekbones this is sin from the sin palace it's really pretty i wore this on my wedding day because it's um it's just a beautiful pearlescent, but it's not like a strobe, you know. I'm going to use my Urban, uh, sorry, Urban Decay, uh, my YSL pencil. It's really nice. I really love it for using on my eyes and for using on my brows. Let's have a look at this palette since I haven't looked at it in ages. It's quite fun. <laughs> okay, um, but me being me, I'm going to stick to my neutrals. So I'm going to start with Weekendo, which is like a nude color and use that right across the whole lid i do feel like i need a little bit of color so maybe i'll go with wild hearts and it looks like perhaps i've used this once once in my life anyway it's quite purple which makes me a bit nervous because i haven't done color on my eyes in a long time okay i'm just going to blend that in with the same um blending brush that i used for the first color highlight the inner corner of my eyes with breakaway because that always opens them up really nicely to finish off i know i haven't done my mascara but i'm gonna put max fix plus on to set that all I'm going to do edge to edge lip liner from MAC, Bratz by Urban Decay, and YSL lip gloss. Okay, and then to finish off quickly, I have got my trusty old mascara. This is Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara. It's the best of the best. The best of the best, and it won't cost you all that much. I think it's around the 100 Rand mark. Just a bit over, I think, maybe 119, depending on where you buy it. But it is the best. So that is what we are wearing today. And just so that you can see my little hair trick. There we are. Let me fluff it out quickly. Voila! Good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday 
and it's going to be a very busy day i've got a lot of work to get through and i've also got a few medical appointments today i've got our baby scan for 24 weeks which is always so exciting i can't wait to see little baba um then i've also got a dash to vits to go and pick up my uh, postgraduate certificates um and then from there i'm going to go and do an eye test because i'm long overdue for an optometry appointment so i need to go and sort that out and i've had these frames you won't even believe it i i got them i think for articles so that was 2014 so it's been a long time i've been rocking the same frames <laughs> and i've got an act uh, another set of frames that I've actually never used so I'm contemplating whether I shouldn't just use those rather than um, waste time and have a look for some other kind of frames in the store but we shall see um, just time's a bit of a crunch today so we'll see how we get on anyway um, I will probably take you to the scan with us um, and see if we can get a little bit of footage there so I'm crossing fingers and uh, I'll check in with you a little bit later look at me in all my glory <laughs> I'm about to do my skincare and I thought that you might be interested in what I've been using and I've got a few new products that I've just ordered in again so I thought now was the perfect time to take you through them so I did mention on my Instagram stories if uh, you happen to see those that this L'Oreal Revitalift filler and hyaluronic acid is wonderful this is now my third box and then we're having a special on take a lot so i ordered two <laughs> um because it was basically two for the price of one it wasn't quite but it was about 40 percent off so 164 rand for one it's normally 300 rand um so i am very very excited about this um i didn't have it for a while and i kind of really really missed it so it's so nice because it's got the dropper and it just glides onto the skin so I am loving this product and I think any hyaluronic acid on your skin is something you cannot go wrong with generally what I do for cleansing and it's something that my dermatologist got me into many 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 years ago is um to wash your face with dove soap so i wash my face with dove soap and so i just ordered myself a belt pack on take a lot as well um i don't really know what more to say about this it's just it's so nice it takes off your makeup what i use is a flannel so i'll take a flannel and then I will have my soap before water and just lather my face and it takes off all my makeup and it takes off any dirt and it's just wonderful and it's kept my skin in really really lovely conditions so um, I'm quite happy with that no need for a fancy cleanser whatsoever and the dermatologist seems to agree so after I've done that, I've got another new product to share with you. This is the Clarins Double Serum for Eyes. Now, you know that I love Clarins Double Serum. It is worth every cent. So the fact that they've come out with the eye serum is just so, so exciting. And all you need is one pump 
and then you rub it together and you apply it around your eye area and I've got particularly sensitive eyes and I don't struggle with this at all which is just remarkable and oh, I just adore this product so it's rich in turmeric which we know is such a it's a superfood really isn't it um so it's got so many beneficial properties and what i love about clarence is their botanical inputs and how they really really look to plants for all the remedies that we need within our body within our skin and for radiance and whatnot so if you're looking for a new eye cream here we go i have been using uh kills ultra facial cream which is just amazing you've heard me rave about this cream for so long um i'm out unfortunately i finished it last night so i'm still waiting for my new creams to arrive but in the interim just while i was on take a lot making that order i decided to go ahead and make this um Cisa full order this is the moisturizing cream for face and body so the reason i have reached for this cream is because i use the the spf i always use the spf it is so good um again because i've got such sensitive eyes i've got to be very very careful about which um spf i put on my face because if I use something that doesn't agree with my eyes, I'll just have streaming eyes all day and it looks terrible. It looks like I've been crying um, or had like a terrible um, bout of allergies, which I guess is what it is. So let's give this moisturizing cream a try. Let's give that a whirl. It feels so nice and thick and hydrating. And exactly what my skin is looking for because it's been so dry lately around here so oh that feels luscious let me tell you um so i think that was about around the 220 rand mark so really not going to break the bank and as i say because of this for I've used their cleanser before and because I love their SPF um, I'm quite sure that this is going to go down well I love the fact that it caters for sensitive skin um, and the fact that it's you know like basically hyperallergenic because it doesn't affect my eyes which is very very important especially when you stare at a computer screen all day um, okay then to finish off I've got my SPF I always use an SPF 50 and I just did a poll on my Instagram on Friday um, asking how many of you wear SPF every single day and I am very pleased to report that the majority <laughs> seem to wear SPF every single day so I know a lot of people are based in the UK um uh, a lot of south africans and across the board it seems like majority like the vast majority are wearing spf every day so i'm very very proud of everybody <laughs> okay so as you can see my hair is freshly washed so i'm gonna go and dry it off now and just in case you're curious about any treatments that I put on my hair before I blow dry I always put a heat protector and um, I have been working my way through the Kerastase um, thermal treatment basically and I give it a bit of a generous portion as well it smells beautiful so once I have done that I'm pretty much done so I'm going to comb through my hair and give it a blast under the hair dryer I think I might skip curls today but that's it that's uh, what's new on my face at the moment 
right, so the hair is dried <laughs> and a little bit of makeup on and we are headed off to Ryan's mom's house for brunch this morning and we're going to be following that with some pram shopping so uh, if that's not indicative of a change in lifestyle that's coming, <laughs> not to show us. Let's see how the day goes. We are proud new owners of a baby pram <laughs> and I can't tell you how exciting this is. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to Monday morning. As per usual, Monday mornings are generally manic and this one is no different. I've got a lot of work to get through but it started off on a good note so I'm very glad. Uh, I thought I would just mention quickly that I have got this wonderful lush bath bomb that my mom-in-law gave me yesterday it is so pretty but the smell oh my word it is so lovely um so i'm very excited to use that i don't know when i'll use it but um i'm going to be putting it with my bath goodies and if you are interested it's called the tootsie totsy bath bomb from lush um and I imagine it'll make a really lovely gift because it is just delightful. Anyway, I thought I would just um, end off the vlog here, but I thought I should also mention that um, we are having the bachelorette and bridal shower for one of my very best friends this coming weekend. So there won't be a vlog coming in the coming week, but I'll be back the following week. So. Um, stay well until I see you then and uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye!